so basically this like quick tutorial uh, for a save warp that you can do here in the end of anomalous materials and beginning, like skipping the beginning of unforeseen consequences so make sure okay I, I'm not sure if I have it but okay. um, you have uh, alias yeah I think I will have it so whatever so make sure to make alias that for example like SVL code SV that doesn't really matter so you need it looks like this so basically I do like 50 weights and then load the save name and another like 50 weights or whatever so yeah make sure you have that and then bind the key uh, to this for example bind 7 SV and then I have binds no I don't have binds or whatever so uh, uh, make binds so say FF and bind F7 load FF just in case so <coughs> that's it that's what you need here uh, and yeah another thing that is all descriptive reliable because wait so yeah you wanna come here uh, then make save around here okay I'll so make save around here with your bind so I pressed F6 right now so yeah so do this then we just do it normally or whatever you can just like actually you can I think you can do this make save here and go and do it so yeah so you don't waste any time basically and do, do the map normally <clears throat> let me just do this real quick so yeah and basically yeah, you don't, don't really want to stop but uh, when you come here there's a trigger uh, PXT show triggers yeah there's the lock trigger so you wanna um, oh whoops yes so you wanna jump in, into it like jump and don't press anything and press your this uh bind that we made this one with S V uh so like this and then when when this happens you need to press your like for example for me F six again so make this save and then uh yeah and another thing make sure to make a save before you enter the trigger like the normal save, like quick save or whatever you use. Okay, have so yeah, <clears throat> you made the saves and then you go and just mark normally. I'll just skip it to the end, but I have the practice save. <clears throat> and if you do this, you don't really need to do any volume jumps. <clears throat> so you can just wait. And let me just see if I can time it right. Because I'm not sure if I can. I just need to just need to count time like timing for the map change. So I think it's yeah. So see, I just made a save. See, and just like this. And uh, what it does, you're skipping like this part, okay? like the exploding door. And you just enter the trigger and go. And another advantage of this, you have 100 health. It might be used somewhere. I don't know actually. So yeah, see. Okay, uh, I just made the save right before the uh, change level trigger. So basically, you wanna uh, press your bind right before the change level. Like, uh, so, yeah, bind, like this bind. So yeah. Oops, I did it too late. Like this. And then you just enter the trigger and you keep going. Yeah, so that's it.